Hello and welcome to episode 5 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to take you through how to set up the Evernote Web Clipper in your browser or browsers uh, so that collecting articles, collecting uh, even email if you use Gmail uh, into your Evernote is really, really simple. So the first thing you need to do to get the Evernote Web Clipper is if you're using Chrome, go to the Chrome Web Store and not the app. I mean, by all means, get the app, but that's just going to give you your Evernote online. But go down to the extensions and get Evernote Web Clipper. Get it installed into your um, browser. And I strongly recommend that you actually get it installed in all of your browsers because I, for example, use Safari for my personal use and for reading articles. I use Chrome for business usage. So once you've got that installed, you'll find the, the little Evernote logo up here in the top right hand corner, if that's how you've set up Chrome. So let's go back into my, let's go into my Evernote. And um, I've got, um, let's, well, we'll start again from this one. This was my testing. So I got rid of that. So here's my Evernote. And if you remember from last week, if I go into all my notes, uh, we were working on exercise objectives. This was just the basics of setting up a note. So let's imagine that I'm in my blog and we are um, looking at the blog and I think, wow, this is a really, really interesting blog. Well, of course it is because I wrote it. Ha ha ha. So uh, I want to clip this to my Evernote. All I have to do is click up here, click, and I've got uh, save a simplified article. Now, I'll just let you run through this. You can save the full article if you wish or a simple a simplified article where all the distractions, sidebars and advertising and everything else is taken out. You can clip the full page, uh, which I think I suppose is very much simply the article. Uh, you can bookmark it or you can take a screenshot. And down here, you have the option to set it up into whichever notebook you want. Now, personally, I would have uh, all my notes set up for going into my inbox. So if I go into my options, I can actually uh, go here. So I click on that. Always start in inbox. I want all my articles going into my inbox for when I process them, which I process usually on a Saturday night. Uh, tag selection. So you can use smart filing, which means that it would try to guess what tags you will always use or you could actually uh, set up a, a tag that you can always use. I keep that uh, empty because I change that on a regular basis. Uh, always starting, I prefer the simplified article when it goes to Evernote. I don't need all the adverts and sidebars, etc. And you can do all this and show related results, which is really cool because it can tell you if you've actually already uh, saved the article. So you've got quite a few options in the setup. So I'm going to go back to the simplified article, organize into inbox, add a tag. If I want to, I can also add a note. This is one of the reasons why it is absolutely fantastic. So let's just save that. So that's now clipping to my uh, Evernote. And once that's finished, I'll just give it a couple more, a few more seconds. Uh, that should have gone into my, uh, so let's go into here now. And what I need to do is to get this to show up, I need to just refresh. So let me just refresh my Evernote. Uh, by the way, you would have to do this in your uh, main, uh, oh, it doesn't come through yet. Let's have a look. Oh, it's clipped now. So uh, there's nothing here. Um, because I've only got one other note in my this Evernote. So I can go back here. Let's give it a, a quick update. Uh, that should be showing in my Evernote now. And sure enough, there it is. And what I've got is the simplified article uh, in there. Actually, what this has done is it's, it's uh, got all the blog posts because I didn't say um, this particular article, but there we go. So, um, now I've been able to add that. I can then change this. I can move my note to my personal inbox. I can tag it in a new tag if I wish. So that is a really, really useful way of collecting articles and things of interest that you may want to keep in your Evernote. Now, another great usage of this is with email. Now, while I was um, recording this, I got this email from uh, Twitter that says that Ernie has uh, liked one of my tweets and let's just say that Ernie and I were having a conversation and I wanted to um, uh, save the conversation. All I need to do is click on my Evernote web clipper 
and it clips the email. Now, this is a, a, a standard generated email from um, Twitter, but if this was a conversation with Ernie, uh, Ernie, then it would save the whole conversation, which I think is really, really cool. So I could just click save and it would save the whole email, which I think personally is one of the best things about the Evernote Web Clipper, particularly if you're using Gmail. So there you go. Uh, that's how to use uh, the Evernote Web Clipper. Now, what I've done today is I finished off all the basics of Evernote. So now you know how to set up the basic notebooks, how to type notes and format notes, and also how to use the Evernote Web Clipper. Uh, tagging, uh, as I say, you really got to think carefully about how you are going to tag things and uh, we can go into more detail on tagging and some strategies for tagging at a later date. But we've now covered the basics in Evernote. So coming up from episode six onwards, we're going to go into more of the power users and some of the ways that I actually use Evernote on a daily basis. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I wish you all a very productive week. And until the next episode, stay happy.